So I, I had a bit of a roundabout journey to landscape architecture. Um, I uh, started with uh, home gardening and then uh, moved on to working at different farms in the area, urban farming, uh, but I wanted to get more into larger scale projects and uh, more urban design kind of uh, field. Um, and uh, yeah, so landscape architecture seems like a perfect fit. As a you know, as a kid, I always really used to uh, be out in nature a lot, and um, my dad would always take me fishing, and we'd hike a lot, and um, we just do a lot of outdoorsy stuff, and I'd be in the garden a lot, and um, I've always also been drawn toward um, plants and things of that nature. So um, as I was trying to decide what to do as a career or what to do as a major in college, my mom suggested um, why don't you do landscape architecture? She knew about the field because she's an interior designer. Um, so I th think that seemed pretty good for me. I've always been kind of a science person as well as on the, as a creative person too. And landscape architecture really meshes those two things together. So um, I came to Temple, uh, or I applied to Temple, and then I came into the program as a landscape architecture student, and I have been ever since. And um, I'm really enjoying it so far, and I can see myself going forward with it for sure. So for me, like, when, like in my childhood, I've been studying the sketching and the water painting. So that time I like to design some different drawings, like different people have different ideas about the same topic. So after that, I'm thinking maybe landscape architecture is a good major for me to design the uh, area. Um, the goal of the exhibit is to show that nature can always reclaim what man has built. Um, the theme of the flower show is called the Garden Electric. So instead of making something like literally electric, um, we decided to take a different approach and um, kind of create the feeling of electricity, like excitement and um, other feelings like that. And um, the theme, I guess, of our show or of our exhibit here is um, nature reclaiming kind of an old uh, power plant or some kind of power infrastructure. Um, so as you walk through our exhibit, you'll see these big towers here. Um, there's going to be plants and vines climbing up them. Um, there's going to be little things in the ground that would suggest that people were here and then nature took over over the years whenever they left. And then as you continue through the exhibit, it gets a bit more polished. Um, and then uh, yeah, that's just kind of the feeling that we want to invoke with it. When we were thinking about the overall design of the exhibit and the goals of the project, uh, we looked at a lot of different landscapes that inspired us as a class, uh, and a consistent theme was uh, post-industrial reclaimed landscapes, uh, how nature takes over an area that uh, was only created for humans. Uh, so our exhibit uh, showcases the transition from a more naturalized, wild, uh, formally decayed site into uh, what can be rebuilt out of those ruins. Uh, so we have a woodland area uh, that is much more naturalized, dark, a little mysterious. There's the precipice that uh, has these elevation changes and then uh, my section of the exhibit that my group is working on uh, is the front part which is a little bit more formalized uh, and it's uh, using uh, reclaimed materials to create something new and create something beautiful from uh, that ruin. So right here um, we are working on, uh, it's called for now, it's called the Emergent Woods. And um, this is the first thing that you'll really see as you come up the ramp here. And um, our area 
It's got this corrugated metal wall to kind of symbolize the, um, the more hardscape infrastructure, but it's also gonna be a woodland. Um, and the plants are gonna be overgrowing this tower here, as I mentioned before, and there's gonna be like an old dry laid farmer's stone wall. And um, it's basically supposed to be, um, you know, a woodland that's taking over uh, where man once had, um, you know, I don't know, man made things, you know. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, what our place is gonna be. We're gonna have a few trees and there's gonna be a lot of understory plants as well. Um, and I'm excited to see what that's all gonna look like once we get those plants installed at the convention center. Like my first team is focusing on the pathway, but for this semester I'm working on the facade. Oh. Yeah, so for the pathway, like because one side is the nature side, one side is the architecture side, so we are choosing the different materials on the path, on the path choosing. I really hope that they're going to uh, first off see, um, you know, the work that it takes to create something like this. And I really want to be able to, well, I think we all do. We all want to be able to really impress people with our work and um, also educate people on what this is. Um, we want to educate people from our signs, but also from the plants that are there, what the plants are called. Um, we're going to be answering questions when we're there about any construction, uh, any construction questions or the theme. Um, and we really just want people to be uh, wowed by it, you know, and um, also just to let people know what can be done with reused products, like people don't always need to be buying new things. Um, so it's, I think it's also going to be a lesson about sustainability as well as having pe as giving people this experience where they can um, get into our exhibit and walk through it with that path that we have and really get up close and personal with the, um, the construction and the plants. So I uh, have been going to the flower show for a number of years now and uh, this is my second opportunity to have a display in the flower show um, and Every time that I go to the flower show, I always am drawn to the uh, new ideas, the things that I haven't seen there before. So I, uh, in helping to design the exhibit, wanted to create something that I hadn't seen done there at the flower show before, um, something big and dramatic that would really draw people in. So the benefit from doing this, I would say, is that as a designer, I can really, um, I can think more critically about how I'm designing and how it's going to work. Um, as a, um, an underclassman uh, in this field, I think when you're designing, you can get kind of carried away with like these big um, concepts and ideas without really thinking of the functionality. So I think this process has really helped me and probably a lot of my other classmates with thinking critically about the functionality of a design because not everything you design is going to be achievable construction-wise. So I think it would, uh, I don't know, it just saves time, I guess, in the design process when you consider something and then when you break it down, you realize maybe that won't work, but let's try something else. So it just helps you think more critically about that. Uh, I've been seeing some previous year, the flower show, their design. So I got some inspiration from the previous years, their flower show design. Mm -hmm. So I hope that like the visitors can enjoy this area. They can see the different views, such as the different texture vegetations. Uh, the diversity vegetations and the water features like they would like to spend time and introduce this area to their friends and their family members. I am very excited to be a part of this. Um, everyone I've told about it has been really impressed that Temple is doing this. Um, I also think that this exhibit or our school being in the show is gonna be really helpful for my classmates and I in the future when we're trying to get jobs because 
the flower show is a big deal. So I think whenever employers see that, it's gonna be pretty impressive. And also it's just a really, I think it's a really interesting and cool thing to be able to say like, yeah, I built an exhibit for the Philadelphia Flower Show.